the Frank Sinatra of football, Johnny Manziel, does it his way, and Pro Day would be no different. Manziel just showed up at Pro Day at Texas A&M wearing full shoulder pads and a helmet. Now most guys just throw in shorts and a t-shirt. He added a new twist. He showed he could throw the ball with velocity and accuracy in full pads under pressure. And talk about pressure. Even though wide receiver Mike Evans and other players had the opportunity to strut their stuff in front of the coaches and scouts, it was Manziel who was basically eating up all of ESPN 2's camera time. You had the former president of the United States, George H.W. Bush, standing next to the governor of Texas, Rick Perry, right there on the sideline. You had, of course, Bill O'Brien, the head coach of the Texans, and the owner of the number one pick in the 2014 NFL Draft standing there, and all his detractors on ESPN just waiting, chomping at the bit, just ready to dissect his mechanics and such. Well, his detractors have started to change their tune after this performance, because only two balls hit the ground, one was dropped that was perfectly placed in the hands of a wide receiver. That's with over 40 minutes of throws. It remains to be seen what he does in the 40-yard dash, whether he improves over his combine time. But I don't think anybody questions his athleticism. He basically threw from the pocket, rolled out a few times, but showed that he had good footwork, a good arm angle. He put more on the ball than either Bortles or Bridgewater, and is justifying the fact that he knows how to play quarterback. But more often than not, the guys on ESPN, not just them, everybody, seem to think that this tall, prototypical, Andrew Luck type quarterback grows on trees. Sometimes you got to go with a Russell Wilson. He won the Super Bowl, after all. He fell to the third round of the Seahawks because of his size. Well, Johnny Manziel also has big hands, great instincts, and more importantly, is just a good football player. Does the guy pass the eye test? Does he know how to win? Johnny Manziel, check it off, check it off. He's smart. His football acumen. He knows the other players. He knows their statistics, their tendencies. This guy has winner written all over him. Yes, he could get hurt, but a guy standing in the pocket, like Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, they have missed seasons as well. You can't draft with fear. You got to go for it. If you're the Texans, the Raiders, the Browns, the Vikings, if this guy's available, take him. Heck, if he comes down to the Eagles, I'll take him. Nick Foles is the starting quarterback, but I wouldn't mind Johnny Manziel. Um, Mark Sanchez and him, that would leave Matt Barkley out, of course. But I digress. If I'm the Texans, I go with him. Take a chance. You were 1 and 15 or 2 and what was it? 2 and 14 last year. Excite your fan base. Take the Frank Sinatra football, Johnny Manziel, who wore full shoulder pads. What a gutsy move knowing it's easier to throw in shorts and a t-shirt. And impressed the former president of the United States as well as Ron Jaworski, who sat there at his ESPN desk and said that he has moved up the Jaworski draft board. Now, that took some doing. I'm curious to see what Merrill Hodge says, because Merrill Hodge basically has buried this guy. Now, the factor back played back in the old days, you know, and um, so he should appreciate the fact that just being a good football player is important. It doesn't matter your height in this game. You know, just... Watch this guy on tape. Watch him play. Johnny Football should be a first-round pick. He won the Heisman Trophy, and it wasn't an accident. In other NFL news, a little note. The Washington Redskins, Arakbo, Brian Arakbo, did sign his franchise tender. So he will be back in the NFC East trying to terrorize the Eagles, Cowboys, and Giants. So there you have it. Arakbo back with the Redskins next year. And Johnny Football, wearing full pads, had an impressive pro day, probably the most impressive pro day of all the top flight quarterbacks in the draft.